Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's a Wild Hunt Wednesday, and we have a deck for you. It is called Max Rats. Uh, we played it last season. I made a few changes to it this season. Uh, it's a little wonky. It's a little crazy, but it's a lot of bit of fun. Um, the goal here basically is to get a bunch of beasts out, get more food to boost them. Then we can get Wear Rat to get them back out over and over again with all these rats. And then we can use Chimera to consume a rat and boost all the rats on that row. This works really well with the Morvood boost. Uh, it also works well with Plague Maiden. Haunt gives us some good tempo value. Uh, just a generally good scenario. But it gives us more rats with Night Wraith. Uh, you do feel a little shy on Consumes against Lockdown, but it works fine, I found, with these two Chimeras, these two Harpies, and uh, Haunt. So. Um, but I, you can add Karen in if you would like to have Karen. Um, we sub out Dolu Lock. But this is how we're playing it. This is how we're having fun. Uh, Heat Wave. Because we feel dirty inside already. Why not embrace the darkness? Um, let's jump into some gameplay. Show you how this works. Uh, some good flexibility you have around it. I think the biggest thing. Uh, when I first, I did a video on this last season, and the thing with Chimeras, I always keep in mind, is they have an adrenaline trigger in order to boost all the units in the row. So they're basically worthless until you use them at that point. Uh, just something to keep in mind. Uh, Imposter is a bit annoying with this deck, because we do have a lot of units that go really tall, but it's fine. Hey, Chairman, thanks for joining. Yeah, we're shooting video on this one. Doing some Rat Swarm, for sure, for sure. All right, we're gonna put Noon Wraith back. We get double Chimeras. I don't really want to. Um, we're not gonna go again, because I don't want to break either of these. As far as golds go, She Troll, Glusty, Plague Maiden, and Cave Troll, I all want for final round. So we'll wait to play that next round. Uh, and then we do rock Magic Lamp here so we can play that in order to trigger Wild Hunt Riders. Find that it works pretty well. Um, Haunt. Haunt is up to you. When do you want to play Haunt? Um, right now I only have one Death Wish unit in my hand, so I'm not eager to play it straight away. This is good value for the opponent here. But who would love such a freak? But who would love such a freak? Obnoxiously, he was to six, so that causes some problems. Um, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with it with the wear at here. Probably could thrive. The wear at's gonna consume the Duchess Informant. And the where I also sets up for the foglet consume. Just always remember he's going to consume whatever's to the right of him. So if you don't want it to be consumed, don't put it to the right of him. Uh, so we missed that. That's unfortunate. It's really not the end of the world, though. Uh, right now, we st we do have uh, dominance. So we're just going to go ahead and take that with Ryder. Uh, Chairman Wu says he just played a really close game in Slave 5 against Double Cross Ball. Opponent puts fly on all your agents and yoink them back with Usurper. That's the worst. Put a clear to space for your Leo for the tall punish against his seditious aristocrats. Nice. Uh, so here the opponent used Amnesty on my Andrega Larva to get that boost. Cool. Glad you did that for yourself. You deserve everything that's coming to you. Um, so here we're just gonna go for a Foglet. It gets a Thrive proc. We could use a Leader Charge if we want to. Um, I'm just trying to save it mostly just to threaten the pump here. I don't mind playing this Chimera right now. This Enforcer is really strange. Quite clunky, in my opinion. See if we can get the opponent out of the round. 
Um, with imposter decks, I am worried about uh, units. Uh, what's his face? The Van Hamar who gets immediate kills. This is entirely strange to me. Um, I think maybe the opponent was just going for Thrive procs. Super weird. Uh, I don't know. So I don't have any. This is it's not even an Ogroid. Uh, it's a Necrophage. So uh, I only have one beast here and where at, but he is locked already. So I think I'm gonna put this on the Chimera. It's useless against other things. Insectoid will give me three drones. But yeah, I think I'd rather have just the sheer straight value. Let's get the Thrive Prox here. Um, we, we're gonna just defend this value here, I think. Ugh. She troll works. Woo! Gets us good points. We want to save one of those consumes for Plague Maiden, but with Haunt, it's not the end of the world if we do something different. This is terrible play. So the opponent gets a lot of point value out of that invo, but they only get a three point Ekimara. So. Make sure you want it, I guess. Um, right now, we only have one beast in where at, so Morphod's just playing over seven points. Which gets us a 39, nowhere near enough. This heat wave just isn't cool enough to get us the win. So the opponent really valuing last save as an imposter, which makes sense. Getting it. Locked on evens, let me force an invo against an Ekimara. So I'm not, not totally displeased. We draw into the Glusty Warp. Uh, you do want to try to get bonded with these Solano Harpies, uh, which we do get here. Uh, but at the same time, we also want some Death Witch cards to go with Haunt. Can't have everything you want. Haunt. Uh, Glusty's a little clunky, though, so we're going to get rid of him. And Dole Lock works perfectly here for our purposes. Uh, I do like the new Puka, no armor, does get Thrive, synergizes better with our... with Spontaneous Evolution and that you can get him the armor by using that card onto a different Ogroid, so do it. Um, though I do think Ogroids have the worst synergy with Spontaneous Evolution, so maybe don't. All right, I do get some rats here out of the haunt. Um, spontaneous evolution doesn't make a ton of sense for us here, so we're gonna put that back. Cave troll's nice. Really looking for this plague maiden. Ugh. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. We're just starting off with Undrag Larvas. We have a lot of Thrive procs that are gonna happen here, so. Uh, if the opponent wants to waste removal on them, they can be our guest. Um, Heat Wave is still a possibility from an imposter deck. Uh, I did see this Usurper Officer, and everything else does look Devotion though. So I feel like I'm gonna be a bit of a risky Piglet, and we're keeping the range row open for Plague Maiden. 
we will need to consume it right away. Whether that's with Banshee or something else. Probably something else. Remains to be seen. So I guess we do miss out on the one point procs here with Dodu Lock. Oh, what are you gonna do? So Chimera here would consume one of these and then boost all of the other ones by one. Which makes it work really well, but um, yeah, we don't get that here. We're gonna save this consume on this Desert Banshee. What is it you want? And we'll explain why in just a hot minute. Expect this one. All right, well, you know, everybody gets to make choices. Um, all right, here we're gonna go for Solano Harpy, I think, to deny this Roderick value. And we're missing out on the second proc from Haunt because we didn't get another Death Wish unit. Those Night Wraiths or the Noon Wraith would have typically been the target. Late Masquerade Ball works. A superb specimen, truly. So we want to get this Harpy Egg spawned and consumed. Six gets us the Andregal Larva Croc. Consume the Harpy Egg. Gets us another Beast so we can boost that with more food. And I made a bit of a misplay here. We should have gone for this Masquerade Ball with the Heat Wave. You can't all be geniuses. I was clearly not thinking the best right there. We consume the Roderick that way in, case, uh, in the event that they're leaning on another aristocrat play, we can go ahead and take that. Um, but I actually don't mind kind of splitting this poison in half. This is strange. I expect a uh, purify against this or like a Vatier play. So I don't really need to use this consume on anything else. I am concerned about poisons. Immediately, Vatier obviously can't go straight away. Oh, the Vincent's brutal here. We're just saving Defender here against what is almost certainly a Vatier final play. My, my, the Van Morlehams, they truly spoil us. <sighs> Alright. It is a seven point, it's a nine point play for them to lock it and create a bit, another copy of it. But the Vati is just massive value here. Swing that back over. Big misplay by me to miss out on that heat wave against the ball immediately. That was uh, basically the loss right there. Four points of play and the force soon. But we could have shut down, so. Definitely could have played that better. All right, let's jump into another game. Let's see if I can make better choices. It's because I don't play with Heat Wave. But 
this deck does need it. If you're gonna play with fun wonky stuff, then you, you do need a a giant feller. If you will. Alright, Skellige. Hemdall's a little bit annoying with this deck. You have to kind of time everything out just right, but... We'll see what we can do. We have another one that we're probably going to get, so we'll put that back. Back the Night Wraith. Sucks to brick. Well, it's not the end of the world. We probably want to save the Death Wish card for Haunt later anyway. This is a weird choice. But everybody gets to make choices. You know, this is gonna stay bleeding. Uh, we could theoretically get Dole locked down with Chimera late and, and boost all the other Andregas on the same row. It is an option. We're gonna go for the Puka here. We only got bad draws across the board this turn. This is super interesting play here. Um Jeez. All right. Uh Really don't want to lose both of these. Serve the value on this, not the bleed by just consuming it straight away. I would have most definitely preferred to play where at in a different round, but we are where we are. I needed to play something. Note that at, he's at the end of your turn, so you don't get any value with the she troll with him. Just good to keep in mind. <laughs> terrible draws! Just lead us to a, a terrible first round here. Ugh. Could have heat waved the great sword so the opponent couldn't get it again, but you know. All right, there's the haunt. I do want to use haunt this round if possible, so I need one more death wish unit. Let's put Chimera back. Just still no luck. This is the worst of lucks. Steal 
Hey, Ranger. No, you haven't. We're doing monsters first. Nice. Lockdown 2-0 with some account. Yeah. I want to do something probably different than what you've seen, too, so... Have to let me know what you think. Um, so Chimera actually works well with Dolu Lock, and you can use Spontaneous Evolution on it. I find it actually is pretty nice. We're gonna go for Haunt here. Just so our greedy Skelly opponent can feel like they got the bleed they wanted out of us. We are missing the second Death Wish card, but as predicted, the opponent was just gonna get out of this anyway. So it preserves a longer round for us, which we don't mind. Ooh, gross. Gross, gross, gross. Alright, we get double spontaneous, which isn't really what I'm looking for. And I get a guaranteed one of these two. I'd like to get both, so we'll put spontaneous back. Ooh, I really don't want to break into him. I do like the Chimera with the Plague Maiden here. Uh, and we can just go for more Voodoo and not for Glusty. So I will finish this out. Start it quick and easy. I do recommend when you're playing this deck or any other Plague Maiden deck, you just have a, a row in mind where you're putting her. She's not row locked, but for me, she always goes to ranged because I know I'm going to need her there. Um, the damage value out of Harald here is actually probably worth the heat wave. It's probably going to be a bigger unit, but it's just easier to get rid of him. We shall do it my way. A discard deck doesn't really make a ton of sense to me, but who am I? Just a guy that plays the game. Um, let's see if we can get him to commit. This gets us protection for our she troll. We really only need one of these for the plague maiden, so we'll use the other one same turn with she troll. I guess I get the damage ping there. Uh, you do need three blood to get full value out of great raiders. The best is free. Who needs my mushrooms again? I do love that. I do love that card. Uh, okay, so he's trying to get the great sword proc here. The problem that the opponent has now, though, is they're gonna run into an issue where they run out of room. Alright, so next. These beasts are a good boost target. Um, alright, we're gonna have to do this eventually, anyway, so let's just get Solano to be out first, then. Good proc for us. Again, more boot here is the target. 
the opponent was playing one point units, then I would consume those with Glusty. And they, we will get some with Deafening Sirens, but they're probably going to come late. Uh, but we'll save more food for them. All that dancing around. It's not for me. All that dancing around. Not for me. Alright. Um. Alright, Skellige doesn't usually have locks, so we're just gonna play it dry. Hand Kaduke plays for four points of heals, so it's better than nothing, but it's just four points. So I'm still not regretting my choice. I'll got you like fishes! Um, I'm just gonna boost this to resist the death wave, the uh, bloodthirst. Yeah, the opponent really valuing that bloodthirst too. That's fine. Uh, so here I'm actually going to go for more wood to protect the Harpy here. Well, actually... The Sirens will probably go to... Oh yeah, we'll just do... Let's do... It's going to boost the Harpy and the Egg and all the rats. So the sirens could go to range if he misses his three bloodthirst there. Fortunately, we can't get quite enough units to melee. Uh, and right now, the chimera plays for one, two, three, four, five, six, or six points in the extra harpy. Ooh, actually, it's still the same number of units. If I could get an extra unit on the melee row, then I'd consume the harpy, but here, I'd consume this harpy egg. But here, it makes him a smaller target. Instead of putting him at nine points, it's just gonna put him at seven. All the rats get boost. And it makes room for the harpies. The time has come. All right, that's no longer useful. Play. Uh, so we'll go for the Harpy Egg here. <laughs> and the Armyolf with Champion's Charge is just too much value. So we still lose that. Oh, Mark for a card of Terror. Oh, uh, see, I really want old school. Didn't even use Leader. Alright, well, I play test games before I film and I get wins. As soon as I start filming, we get smashed. Oh, let's see if we can not suck draws round one. Holy crap, have we had shite draws. Just utterly garbage draws. Alright. But this is this this tag probably qualifies as wholesome hunger. Let's find out if the opponent has a similar play strategy. Um, okay, let's not break that this time. Uh, we do get our two death wish units, and we are on red. So I actually think this is a good combo package. Platter. However you will. Let's put Chimera back. He's just later, later round character. And we'll save them for later in the round. Just get the opponent to commit some stuff.
He could still be V. People might still be trying to make V work. They didn't do any of the things that I suggested, so, you know. Um, be like a unitless Death Wish boost deck. Who knows? Anything's possible these days. Alright, if we're gonna bully him out of this round, we're gonna have to do it quick, so. Ooh, a tete a tete. Perhaps they remembered being on a different coin than they are. Banshee gets us the consume on one Night Wraith, and Vargas gets us the consume on the other. We do have to be a little bit thoughtful about timing and placement. Interesting. Bruhin is not what I expected. Uh, go for the Vargas to get the 10? That makes sense to me. All right. Um... We're gonna go crazy here. Not what I wanted, but we can make it work. Still good value for us. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be V. With Ruhin in deck, don't think we're gonna see a V. I think it's weird here. Uh, we're gonna see if we can target this Night Wraith. Uh, and here we get to 10, so we're gonna take it. We risk a counter Glusty play from the opponent, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah, so uh, Rafin does play 9 for 5. It's 5 base value with 4 points of damage. But you do have to consume to get value from it. And now our Bargus is at 12, so that's why they don't have access to their Bargus right now. Uh, but yeah, Rotfiend is cool. I, I've played against uh, like a, a Radea Rotfiend deck once that used it really effectively with uh, Urn of Shadows. Just like use it for offensive points. Um, I think that would probably be better. As like, as part of a general Death Wish deck, I, I personally don't think it makes much sense. But hey, you know, everybody gets to make choices. And here you see the clunkiness of the Rotfiend where... You get the consume, and here we get everything we've ever wanted and more. We have to say something mean first. Boom, all your base are belong to us. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. This, this Bargus doesn't get him enough value. He procs two Thrives. Oh, he does get the hit. Okay. Not terrible. Um, so none of these are beasts. Best we get is Glusty, so that's what we're going to go for here. It's a really late Omniro. 
Ooh, nice. Man, I haven't seen artifact compression used like that for a long time, but great use of a card here. Uh, I'm to have to dig for it though. Um, yeah, I don't want to expend these right now, so I'm happy with this. Opponent does preserve last say. Could be problematic. Uh, but yeah, Weavis Incantation will work really well with Raw Fiends, where you get to play it down, it does the damage, and you play it again. She's a little bit like artists, where like it works out well against decks that don't have removal, but it's not enough value for you to beat pure engine decks either. She's, she's kind of like the worst of both worlds. Uh, let's see if we can get Solano Harpy here. We do. Question is, what's the other thing I want? Um, let's put that back for now. I'm fine with Sienna being in the game because she's so binary, right? Um, and I'm playing Dole to Lock here just because I get the resilience carryover value that I can trigger anytime I want. But yeah, I like Sienna I'm fine with because she makes great meme decks. Like she's fun to play, but she doesn't really matter all that much competitively, even though she has such a high upside because she's so easy to lock or remove. All right, cool. Now we get all this stuff we want. Uh, she trolls probably the only thing I'd really like to dig for here, but I don't miss it enough that I really want to do that. I do get enough consumes with my leader charge to get the full value out of Solanos, um, so I will do that. And then the wear at Morvood combo is going to be juicy sweet. We'll show you guys how that works. I think if anything, Cave Troll probably could have gone back. Um, let's do this. Let's get out these. I don't have any use for them. Glusty's already done, so... Spontaneous Evolution works decently on them, but I don't have one anyway, so that's also fine. Note that Morvood is allied beasts, in case you were concerned about that. Yes, I was checking intentionally. Um, actually, wait a second here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Maybe Detlaf will see play again? Detlaf got used a couple seasons ago with Haunt. I think, uh, I think only having two charges makes him less palatable, in my opinion. So he's going to consume that and then consume the Harpy, so we need to trigger him next turn. Uh, and then if he wants to consume the Harpy, we're going to let him go ahead and do it, it's fine. It's a little bit of lost value, but it's not a ton. And Chimeras are Adrenaline 4. So we could use one right away. No, I don't think I but Catacan got a nerf. There's not that many great vampire cards, and Catacan is one of them, so... Although Ekimara's got a, a, a buff to three. 
I mean, I guess the Catacan balances out because Daikimaru has three points now, but... I guess it's technically better because it's easier to proc the Thrive. But he was such a thick vampire body, it's hard to remove. I don't know. Lose a little bit of value every time it's wear at boosts these uh, or removes these guys. I will want to count it out with Morvood. So right now he loses seven points. Interesting. So I think if we're ever going to do it now, it's probably the best time to do it. I need to make sure we don't run out of room. I think we run out of room on melee, right? Yeah, we do. So... We'll make a little bit of room here. Boosting all those. And we get only two proct here, so yeah, not enough value. Just let them keep going. Yeah, the the thing about vampires decks is like the the core, the mid range core is required. Chimeras are beasts here too. And the wear rat's gonna be done consuming this next turn. Look what the target here is for Karen Thier. I would have gone for the dead lap. The Ruhan the Ruhin was earlier. The wear cat is weird. Like you clip this rat once. I mean maybe he's expecting the wear rat to go again. But all you do here is tell me that I should move the melee row. Or do that, that's fine. Alright, right now we have five, so this would proc four and lose. Oh shoot. Um seven, he'd lose three points, but get back more than that? More food? Let's just do this to make this easier. I'll be right back. Tech is cool, but I would definitely. I mean, it, the first play with the Karen here didn't count for the damage box, so I would have done that differently. Um, so, what do we decide here? It's not enough points, right? So. Was you the same Mechimara all over again? I could spawn these, but I lose value there. So, we're gonna call it a day. Oriana with Ideron and Karen Thier. That's a fascinating deck. Ooh! I think they get the win here. Yep. 
What a weird day. Damn, feels bad, man. Feels bad to keep getting these tight losses. All right, one more game. Yeah, he should have the first the wear cat. He should have procked his debt laugh with uh, with Karen Thier. Would have been a lot more valuable. Although he's out of consumes, I think he misused one. And he should have played the wear cat the melee row anyway. And just let it sit, and then proc the Thrive the next turn. Not in epochs, eras, Monsters epochs. don't have row movement, so I'm not gonna like get away from the loss of value. All right, let's see if we can get what we want for once. I don't have high hopes. Come on! Ugh, the camera actually probably would have been okay here. Alright, that's a little better, but not great. Double cross is awkward with Glusty, typically. Those just eat all your own rats. Ugh. Wow. Okay. Please. I shall now speak. Wow. Just wow. Um Let's go ahead and go for a month straight away. Weird to kill the Banshee. I guess the goal is to get away from like V decks, but I'm not playing V, so. Alright, we're gonna play Barius to melee. Then play where at ranged. Get the chimera from build the lock. Here's our chance. Well, that answers the bonded question. Um yeah, let's go ahead and get this part. Get the wear rat down here so that we can proc all these rats and then get them all boosted up with more food later on. Lock is annoying, but kind of meaningless here. Let the hunt begin. Your blood will warm my bones. I was trying to bait them into a uh, Glusty attempt here. Try to get them, get them to try to get Glusty. <laughs> this is annoying, but they're kind of like getting all like they're trying to play mill, but getting all the wrong cards. Um. With Tibor out of the deck. Let's go ahead and do that.
We maybe should have passed there. There are Quags' Plague Maiden here, that's brutal. You get a thunderbolt! You get a thunderbolt! <laughs> Absolutely no synergy with these guys. Well, I guess Cave Troll's not bad. Alright, so he gets the Alzer play, and I guess he wanted these to be on Nero, so we just don't take this. Long will we let this go, the worse it gets for us anyway, so. Wow! Okay, the opponent opts to lose on evens. I guess it's Mel, so they're feeling confident about their ability to take this away. I don't know. Alright, we'll put this back looking for some kind of rat proc here. Um, Right, this combo actually works really well. I'll show you guys how that, how that goes down. I want some more reasonable stuff still in there. My best is friend. I'm just gonna take a cold pass here. They can mill through like two cards without to go down by two, so. I don't understand the play. Double last say is pretty boss. I'm gonna miss my Plague Maiden, but I think we'll be okay. Alright, we get Nagafar and Glusty. We do wanna check here. We don't have any golds in deck, so I'm gonna put back Wild Hunt Rider and then the gold I like least. Um, so let's just put the novel far back. Oh, we don't have to worry about it getting milled out. Alright, Glusty's looking decent here. I'm gonna go for Puka. Hybrid would probably be decent here, but Puka I think is gonna be great. Might get removed right away. It's fine. Just need this out here so you can get these uh, extra little drones out. Okay, Noon Wraith actually works really well for us. You will never forget. Proc units onto their side of the board and get to consume them when and where we want to. Um, they removed the opponent Thrive proc with Puka, which I think is a sad and terrible mistake, but hey, we are where we are now. Uh, so we'll just go for Noon Wraith, that way they know that's what they drew for us. I will just self consume it on uh, on the same turn they play Clusty. Cantarella is going to get you a whole lot of sadness. Although, Nagelfar would be nice. Yeah, there you go. But trash if you don't have golds. Trash if you don't have golds. Alright, let's see what they have here. Drag that drive on the Puka.
Don't mind the Velga forts, I'm more concerned about the info. Who's gonna consume the cantrill in case there's any kind of like uh, spying synergy or a coup that they want to replay the cantarella? Renew is interesting here. I would have gone for the cave troll personally, but everybody gets to make choices. Probably go for the Glusty here. Well, the She Troll does give crazy good value to every time we kill, we get boosted by four points for the own consumes, so that's probably what we'll do. We need to consume this Night Wraith. There's the trade we're looking for. Living Armor exists to uh, do power swaps with. So we'll just take away that value. That's game. Alright, there you go. There's a win. You can get it. Play better than I played the first two games. You probably could have won there too. Uh, but we'll keep tweaking monsters. I think there's I think there are better decks on the horizon for us. Um I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you enjoyed hanging out with us, watching. Until next time, good luck on the path. Get out there, keep on quinting. Bye for now.